Right, good morning everybody and um, this is Renee and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to update your telephone details for the Wits University telephone list so that it appears on the global address list which is of course what we use in Outlook as well. So here's an email from Rosny um, who works at the university, one of my colleagues and if I was to double click on Rosny's name you'll notice that her contact details from the global address list actually appears. We can see that she's a technical administrator and that she works in communications and information security, which is part of the CNS department. Um, another way of looking at uh, details for people in Outlook would be uh, to go to the tools menu and to select the address book and in the address book you can then run a search for instance if we were looking for someone or anyone by the name of Anne and we pressed on, um, on the go button for that we would find all the Anne's within the university as well as people like Anna Marie because that contains the word Anne as well and yeah looking then at the business phone column you'll notice the problem and that's the reason for this tutorial is to ask you the user to help us to get the telephone list up to date so that there's no blank entries like that one or like these um, and that of all the telephone entries that are in there are of the same format Look, looking at for instance Anne Caldwell the supervisor and head of telephony services she's showing us there with her telephone number that with a plus two seven you've got the country code the 11 gives us the area code and then the 7171001 how do we go and change it then that for instance this blank entry is no longer blank so if you're the user and Kruger you would go into your web browser which I'm going to do now uh, and you would go to the intranet and from the intranet you would select quick links and logons and from the Ivitz production. So I'm going to click on Ivitz production and you'll notice at the top here in my Windows Explorer or rather my Internet Explorer a new window has opened up where I've got a, a login prompt where I put in my normal staff lo uh, login which is my staff number and the password that I use for Windows to log into my PC or for my email it's it's the same password for this environment and once I've logged in I can then see my menu where I'd like you to select employee self-service uh, which brings up a sub menu from where you select personal information clicking on personal information brings up information obviously on the Oracle HR system that we ha we have on, on on you as a staff member notice the phone numbers over here have been entered for me already as I've updated my screen but for the purposes of illustration I'm just going to take away the space between the 717 and the 1622 so I'm going to click on the update button on the right hand side I can now go and edit any of these fields the work or the mobile or the secondary work number if you've got a second office and so forth but for now I'm just going to remove that space over there and click on the next button which takes me through to a screen which will merely confirm that I'm happy with the changes that I've made you'll notice the blue dot over there indicating that I've changed this field and you'll see that the space is now missing if you're happy with the changes you would then click on the submit button which I've just done and that basically means that your changes have now been applied going back to the um, Outlook inbox and to your address book will not at this point in time show you a, a change to to what I've just submitted on the IVID system for instance if I went to look for Renee in my address book I would find myself but the space would still be there one would have to give the system around 24 hours time and at which point your address book should entry should be updated from the IVID system this is Renee signing off, hoping you found this tutorial useful. If you have any additional questions on it, please do email ithelp at 
www.zaday. Thank you and goodbye.